Oh boy, here we go again. Richard Garriott, or Lord British, as you may know him, is at it again. Planning a new MMORPG, and this time he wants to dive into the wondrously overused word of 2022. NFTs and blockchains! And all the nonsense that gamers so quickly threw Rotten Tomatoes at over and over again. But yes, the creator of Ultima Online, or more recently Shroud of the Avatar, has partnered up with Todd Porter, who is also from Ultima Online Development, for another MMO project. This time, they want to go with the top-down isometric view of Ultima Online with what they describe as a wide range of adventure content. They are seeking investment and will likely get it, and pair that up with NFT style cells of digital land. At least in their interview about the new unnamed MMO project, they did at least state that the issue with crypto MMO projects so far is that they don't even look appealing or like good games, causing a skeptical approach. Look, I just have to say it that I do not believe cryptocurrencies are a good enough reason to start making an MMORPG. And I'm personally not a fan of NFTs, and certainly I'm not down for it to be in my MMO call me old school, call me a bit of a boomer, but I just want to play my game and have fun, and I can get excited about the value of a drop from in-game currencies and knowing it's worth a lot of gold or plat. In-game money, that's exciting enough for me, but I'm also not stupid, and I can take a look around and see that there is a crowd that really wants this kind of earned play style MMO to be something possible. And if someone were to make an actual valuable MMO, that also has some earn to play aspects, it could be very lucrative for a lot of people. But alas, allow me to continue with what we know. Garriott, in an interview, stated that the blockchain is a way to just clarify the economics in a way that is very fair and consistent between the players who are buying, selling, and trading these virtual assets, end quote. He is saying that instead of people buying and selling on an off-game website somewhere, why not make it part of the system of the game itself and look, this isn't new, MMOs have done it in the past, and it honestly just never really worked out. And Garriott seems to not want to discuss Shroud of the Avatar, which was overall, I mean, let's face it, it was a monumental failure, with a lot of what I would call a large bloat of packages that gave people throwing down the big money huge advantages in their MMO releasing in a state I would, I can only call unfair to a scale I'm not sure anyone has ever seen before it. And that's without even diving into the controversial issues that happened with Shroud of the Avatar, including a book as part of Kickstarter that they never delivered upon, and then released in-game items for it instead. Richard Garriott selling off his own blood and leaving the project altogether at the first real sign of failure. Look, it's a hard sell to old school MMO RPG players to come give Garriott's new MMO a shot. But truth be told, if he builds a good game, it will amass an audience. He certainly has the capability to secure the funding needed, and advertising costs should be possible. I mean, after all, we're talking about Richard Garriott, the space bearing multi-millionaire that practically every gamer age 25 or older probably knows who he is. But looking at his history, it is very hard not to wonder if Ultima Online's success was kind of just an accident. He hasn't had a popular MMO since. Tabula Rosa was a really cool sci-fi MMORPG, but it just didn't make it, and was honestly probably just too far ahead of its time. And Shroud of the Avatar is hardly an MMORPG to begin with, and had to be handed over to a tiny indie company to keep it from going belly up. And now he is talking about cryptocurrency style MMO. I mean, is he really in touch at all with the heartbeat of the community anymore? Real quick before we continue, I want to give a major shout out to the members of Napalm. Thanks to their contributions, I can get the equipment and gear that I need to keep this channel ticking. Covering MMOs, RPGs, and of course, puppets. If you're interested in becoming a member of Napalm, please click the join button down below. It would be greatly appreciated. And a very special major shout out to the Lords of Napalm. Bounty Code, We Toke Bitcoins, Jared Woodhouse, Dimelos, and Farthest Reach. Thank you for your highest tier membership. 
now on to the video. And listen, this isn't a hit piece. I respect Richard Garriott as a visionary for releasing Ultima Online, and I've always said if they could take that level of sandbox into the over-the-shoulder three-dimensional space, it would be a very heavy hitter. But instead of going that route, which I still believe to be the evolution in MMORPGs that Richard Garriott should be shooting for with his amount of clout and his big money bags, instead he is talking about a return to isometric and mixing in NFTs. It just feels extremely lazy and outrageously boring. Now here's the deal, I gotta say it again, have respect for Richard Garriott and what he's done for the MMO genre. He's done a lot. One of the original pioneers, so deep, deep respect for him. And, and, I, and I hope that I am wrong. And as we get closer to more information the project coming together, that whatever they come up with is better than this initial release of information seems to imply. Because the MMO genre really needs some wins these days. Some home run hits. And I'll take it from anywhere I can get it from. I just don't see it coming from Garriott anymore. But what about you? That's the most important part. What do you think? Would you try it? How do you feel about NFTs in your MMO space? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new here, please hit that like button to help me fight the YouTube algorithm. And consider subscribing if you enjoy MMO and RPG content, because that's what we do here. And until next time, my friends, God bless and happy gaming.